Hi, welcome to Lesson Switch On. Uh, today we're going to try the good old days. You're going to need a uh, capo with the first fret to be in the key that they're in. Uh, I just changed my strings and I haven't cut them yet, so <laughs> sorry if it's a distraction. Alright, you got yourself a D chord. D, D, G. G open, D minor, A, G. F sharp minor. That's your intro, okay? Works out very nice on the guitar. Uh, what we got here is, uh, so this is the intro of the song. You got a D chord, you got a strum and let it ring for six beats, and then on seven and eight, you're gonna get it a couple more times before you go to a G, let it ring for six beats, and then another G. Then what I do is I just kind of lift off, and I'm not too particular. Really the piano hits just an E, which is the open first string on the guitar, but if you hit one and two, one, two, and three, it doesn't matter. Don't have to be too particular. All right? And then you got a B minor once, A once, and then G once. Then you got the F sharp minor, and then as I'm holding that down, I hit one, three, first string, third string, whoops, like that. And uh, that's gonna be kind of hard for some of you, and we'll go into that in a little bit. And then a G chord. Okay? So, what we got? We're in uh, we're in 4 4 time, so uh, I guess let's go over the chords first. So, you got a D chord, 3rd uh, string, 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret. You've got 6th string. Alright, so you let that ring for 6 beats, so as you're counting. So, you hit it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you hit it two more times, just downs are fine. Then you go to any G chord you want. So uh, the one that I just happen to be playing is 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 2nd uh, and 1st string 3rd fret. You can use that one. Uh, we'll go into all the different G chords later that you could use. So you're going to let that ring for 6 beats. Then you're going to hit it one more time. Then the piano plays an uh, e. So we're going to try and play, uh, technically it's an F with the capo on, sorry. Uh, anyway, so we're going to, um, I'm just going to play the open strings, so I let go of the top strings. The top of the guitar is actually closer to the floor. Alright, so you're going to hit G, and then just open, and then a B minor, which is your bar the second fret, the top five strings, second string, third fret, fourth and third string at the fourth fret and of course this is all relative to the capo four frets away from the capo you hit your b minor once and that's the hard part in the intro and then an a chord which is the four three and two strings at the second fret and then i go back to the g this one gets two beats but i only hit it once so i go b minor a g g gets an extra beat then you do an F sharp minor, which means you bar the whole second fret. Fifth string and fourth string at the fourth fret. You hit it, let it ring for two beats. And then on beat three and four, the piano hits these two notes, one after another. And uh, for you, if you're holding down your bar properly and you just give it a little extra squeeze, you hit the first string and the third string. So that's the first string, second fret, the third string, second fret. Sometimes um, those are gonna, it's gonna sound like that. And uh, you're just not pushing down hard enough. And uh, I know it, it's hard with bar chords. If you just play the F sharp minor, like this, and then at that last moment, push down, like squeeze together tighter. Sometimes these grooves that we, well, <laughs> my, my finger's full of grooves right now, but um, the creases, where the knuckles are, you know, how you bend your finger, sometimes those strings just happen to line up, and so you don't have as much flesh, you know, so you have to kind of either move your hand, your finger up and down like that to get it in a better spot, or just push down a little harder, or both. And then after that you hit the G chord. So that's your intro. Hopefully that, uh, that helps. Alright, so now the chorus is, uh, I wish somebody would have told me. It's the same thing. Three, four, and then D, 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 G, G, B minor, A, G, G, 
That's the whole chorus. I'm going to play it through without yakking, but basically it's the intro plus you add like a D to a G and then a B, A, G, twice. So now let me play the whole chorus. This is the part where she's singing, uh, I wish somebody would have told me, babe, uh, something about the good old days. So you got a D. The, uh, the thing keeps coming back. I wish she... something about the good old days. <laughs> I forget. But it's when the girls sing it. And um, it's, uh, we're going to call that the chorus in the song. So, so far we've got an intro and then the chorus. And then what happens at this point in the song is uh, there's an overlap between when she is singing her chorus and, and going out and then he takes over with the verse. <laughs> said there's an overlap he comes in as she's going out and uh, what he's doing there is what we're going to do is we're going to hit a D chord and uh, I do a little palm mute so if you don't know what that is uh, here's the bridge and I'm gonna play my uh, palm right on the strings if you move it back this way you don't get anything if you move it up here it's muting them completely so you want to find that spot just keep moving back and forth you find a nice spot, and of course you don't have to do that at all. You could just go. Okay. So this part here, it's uh, no new chords, really. It's just all the same chords, so we don't have to go over any of that. In fact, I think we're done with chords for the song, so you don't have to worry about any new chords. Those are all the chords in the song. So what we're doing is, it uh, really works out nice on the guitar. I'm just doing all downs to make it easy, plus it sounds cool with the song. Uh, and this time, we're also going to do it for six beats, but this time, we're going to play all those six beats, all down beats, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm just going to lift up my middle finger, so it ends up being a D sus2, and then I put it right back down, that, uh, that finger on the, the first string, second fret. So. So it ends up being D sus2 to a D, so it's like D sus2, and then you go to any G chord you want, but uh, here's a couple tricks uh, you can do. Uh, now if you notice, this is the one that I did, 6th uh, string 3rd fret, and then the 2nd uh, the, uh, string and the 1st string 3rd fret. I'm going to leave my 1st finger free. So that's my G chord. And that allows me, what's going to happen is I'm going to hit that six times too, and then on the seventh one, I want to hear the first string second fret. So I'm going to leave these two fingers down, pick up the pinky, and get that first stringer, first, first finger on the first string second fret. It ends up being a G major seven for a moment, and then I lift it off, and it ends up being a G six. And really, the piano is just going. But the piano is so powerful and big and stuff. So I figured strumming the whole chord would be cool. It sounds nice on the guitar. Now that's one way to accomplish that. So it sounds like. Okay. Now let me show you a different way. Most of the students that I've been teaching do it like this because it's a little easier. Uh, and you can do this in the intro too. Um, you can use this G chord. It's the simplest one I could come up with. 
6th string 3rd fret, 1st string 3rd fret. So you just have your middle finger and your ring finger. It's an, important to use those two. Those are the tallest ones, so it's easier to reach anyway. A lot of people try and do it like this, but you, you need to get to that 1st string 2nd fret. And if you do it like that, you're, you're screwing yourself because you can't, you can't do it. So you're setting yourself up uh, much better this way with your middle and your ring. So on this G chord, um, this is the easiest way to accomplish this particular task. So you're going to go, okay, and it sounds, it, it's still a G chord, it sounds fine, um, you could do that, it's, it's not a problem. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing the G for six beats, uh, and then I reach back to the first string second fret, I only have to lift up my ring finger now, play that, and then just totally open. I leave that finger down the whole time, so. So that's a, that's a way you could do it too. So let me try it like that. So perfectly fine. So either way will get you through it. They repeat that part twice. And then after that, it's just a D for a measure to a G for a measure, B minor for two measures, D for a measure, G for a measure, B minor for a measure, and then G for a measure, and then um, then they overlap again, and she takes over with the which we've already gone over with the chorus, which is I wish somebody would have told me. Uh, about those good old days. Alright, so that's your verse. Hopefully that's clear enough. Um, so uh, let me give you the form of the song right now while I'm thinking about it. So you got that intro that we talked about, then the chorus, um, which is the good old days part, and then the verse, which is that palm muting part. Uh, then you go back, you do the chorus again, then a verse again, then a chorus again, then a verse again, and finally you come to something different. Uh, this is the bridge of the song. This is the part where she's singing, uh, whoa, whoa, something like that. Uh, it's near the end of the song. And all you have to do uh, is you do your G, uh, sorry, your D chord. This time you just let it ring for six beats again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then, then a G. They do that four times in a row. So basically, you, it's the same thing that um, uh, they did in the verse, except you're not strumming it um, every time. You're just hitting it once, let it ring for six beats, then do that open first string, back to the D, then any G chord you want. I'm going to do that one, the G, and then reach back and do the first string second fret, and then open. times in a row that's the whoa, whoa part and uh, and then in this song after that that's the bridge you go back you do another chorus and then you just simply end on a D chord um, at the end so here here's the last chorus it's a D sharp minor <laughs> sorry and then G and then D G D minor A G and then a extend on a D chord and that is the good old days so that's the whole song intro chorus verse chorus verse chorus verse bridge chorus outro I'm not going to sit here and play all of it. <laughs> Sorry. I know a lot of you want me to, but uh, just take forever. So hopefully that clears it up. It really works out very nicely on the guitar.
So uh, give it a whirl. It's nice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar. Catch your strings.